there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. And today we're in Warsaw, Poland to talk about some of the tastier treats you will have when you do come to Poland. Because there's a lot of food you want to try when you do come here. And you'll see there's a kind of a theme that you'll have a lot of meat and potatoes and cabbage when you are here. So what I thought I'd give you just kind of the typical dishes that tourists should try when they come here. And believe me, there's a lot more dishes than what I'm going to talk about in this video here in Poland. But I just want to give you kind of the most traditional ones you're going to see a lot. And so let's start with when you first sit down. What are the first things you have when to eat when you are here? And the thing is, here in Poland, they love their soup. Jarek, this rye soup. I know it's rye soup. What's that? It's kind of like a creamier kind of soup in there. It was actually very tasty. I had it the other night really really wonderful so that's probably my favorite soup that's here but you have other soups as well goulash is very popular here you know also you'll have you know chicken broth soup you have cut stuff like that too a lot of different soups that are out there and there's actually a stew it's called hunter's stew which is you know it's it's sometimes you'll get it in a, in a soup bowl and it'll be like look like a soup thing but it's very filling so sometimes they kind of put it together either in the soup or they put it as a meal kind of thing and the hunter stew is various cuts of meat like it might be beef or pork or whatever i have mine had like beef in it with some kielbasa the sausage in it as well with of course cabbage all stewed together it was actually really really good so you can have that Another popular starter you'll see here is uh, you might have potato pancakes and you'll see potatoes and cabbage will pop up quite often when you are here. But potato pancakes are really good and with them there's a little ways you can get with salmon, you can do other things, but for me I love it with the sour cream and red onions. Yeah. You're not going to kiss your girlfriend afterwards, but it is really, really tasty. So I do suggest that. And the sour cream will pop up quite often in different situations here in Poland with the food. Um, other things you might want to check out when you are kind of like a little bit hungry. Uh, the thing is, there's a lot of bakeries around Poland, so you can grab some quick snacks. Uh, one of the things you might see the Polish donut that's out there. It's usually with jam filled, either the glaze filling or some nuts on it and stuff like that, but actually is really, really good. People joke about it, but definitely go have some um also you have you'll see like a, it's not a cinnamon roll but it's a row of seeds in it these black seeds you know it's all rolled up another kind of traditional thing to have here that is really good um if you're walking around town and looking for a snack probably the two most popular like sna warm snack things i've seen when i've been going around one is a hot dog yes you'll get a hot dog with various different mustards and ketchups and mayonnaises and pig sauces and whatever on there it's totally normal to grab one and go another thing you'll see and you'll notice I'm not saying the Polish names here because like Bigosh or whatever, like that was the, the stew kind of stuff. I can't say the Polish words. They're insanely difficult to say. But one of the things I see a lot of people have, and I had one today, it's basically take a baguette and cut it lengthwise. And on it, you'll put like ketchup or tomato sauce or whatever, cheese. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like when I was a broke college student, my bread pizza I would make. It's kind of a cheap and it's a really cheap thing to get and it's easy to get with they'll put some sauce on top for that but you will definitely have that especially when you're going late night drinking though that's a very popular thing as well. Also the traditional you know the Turkish kebab is here as well so you can have that. Now if we go to like the main courses there's a lot of really good dishes that are here but probably the most popular Polish dish that you're gonna have are pierogi. Pierogi are these little boiled dumplings sometimes a little bit fried and they come in various stuffing I guess you'd call it. Uh, one you'll see is with cottage cheese, which I actually really like quite a bit. Um, there's another one with, guess what? Cabbage and mushrooms. Yes, that's one too. There's another one with mincemeat and onion in it. That was really good too. And then in the summertime, a lot of times you'll see them with, with actually fruit inside of it and with sour cream or cream with it. It is actually really, really good. And the thing is, what I recommend, so you don't have to buy three different plates to try the different pierogies, Ask them if they can mix the pierogies up so you can get, you know, three with meat, three with cabbage and mushroom, and three with, you know, with, with the other, with the cottage cheese and stuff like that. And uh, do do that. And they're actually are quite tasty when you do come here. You might want to order a couple plates anyway because they are very tasty and they're not super filling, but they are quite good. Um, some other main dishes you might like when you are here, you're going to see a lot of pork. And yeah, I got pork tenderloin uh, with mushroom sauce. Oh man, anything that's got mushroom sauce here. Oh, I forgot about the mushroom soup here too. Awesome, by the way. Uh, but pork tenderloin with mushroom sauce is popular. A, a cutlet, like a schnitzel. Uh, you say, oh, yeah, it's wiener schnitzel. Yeah, the, the schnitzel kind of stuff, you have that with boiled potatoes and cabbage. Yes, there's going to be a theme. The, boiled, the potatoes and cabbage will come in a lot. It may not say it on the menu, but it will probably come with it, okay? Um, <laughs> and also the boiled potatoes, you get a lot of dill thrown in there for some reason. Um, 
Other things you want to look at in terms of main dishes, this, you, you'll see a lot of lamb, uh, you'll see some fish that's here. Actually, there's one kind of fish that you're going to try actually as an appetizer, and that's pickled herring. Uh, maybe you'll say it's like herring Krakow style or something like that. Um, it's an acquired taste, and yeah, not my cup of tea, but something you can try when you are there. In terms of the meats, yes, you'll see a lot of different steaks, a lot of pork chops and stuff like that in there. Uh, veal is also quite popular in some of the nicer restaurants, and lamb and stuff like that. And so you do have a nice meat and potatoes kind of thing when you're here. Also, you might have cabbage rolls as well, so it'll be cabbage stuffed with meats and other rice and stuff like that, so that's pretty good. And then if we look at dessert, what are some of the nice tasty sweets you're gonna have when you are here? Look, they love their cakes here. Also, they love their tea as well, which is another thing. And if you're gonna have a piece of cake, um, you might have um, their cheesecake. And the thing is, cheesecake here isn't like, when you think of Cheesecake Factory cheesecake, it's more of a cake that has like more of a cheese texture. It's actually really good. I actually prefer the cheesecake here better than like a Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Um, it's it's not as sweet, but it's really, really good. Um, also, apple cake is very popular here. Um, and there's and there's all kinds of different ones. You go to the cafes, you'll have a lot of different cakes to try. I had one, the lady said, oh, you can have the apple cake or you can have this one. It's chocolate and orange and chocolate. It's like a Polish birthday cake. I'm like, sure, why not? And it is kind of a tasty thing to do. Um, another thing is, if you see the, the Polish people around, they really love their ice cream. So if the kids are here, you can always grab ice cream and walk around with it. It is pretty tasty, so you're okay there. Now, next thing I want to talk about is what you're going to drink when you are here. Now, the thing is, you can drink the water in Poland. It's not a big deal. It might not taste that great, but you can drink it. We are in the European Union, okay? You have to be able to drink the water, all right? Um, but what you're going to see is you're going to drink a lot of... You see a lot of people drinking beer here. There's a lot of local beers, and they're fine. You can get them in a half liter or a 0.25 liter glass or 0.3 liter glass. Um, you know, I always go for the big ones because they're tasty and delicious, and you want to have some. Um, also, in terms of liquor, obviously vodka is very popular here as well. But one thing that kind of surprised me is how popular tea is. Yes, you'll see hundreds of Costa coffees and Starbucks around here, but people love their tea here in Poland. So sit down, grab a cup of tea, and enjoy some of that cake because it is really, really good. Anyway, those are just some little things I want to tell you about eating and, and, and food here in Poland. Um, one thing you should know, restaurants, you can pretty much, in the tourist areas, you can eat all day at the restaurants. They don't usually close their kitchens, so that's good. Uh, restaurants usually open up about 11, 11.30, so they, you know, lunchtime is like 12 to 1, like normal lunchtime. Dinner, people eat anywhere, like in the tourist places, I see people starting, the tourists start eating at 5 or 6, but it seems like the people here eat usually more 6 to 8 kind of things like that. Um, and it's just a really nice place to go. If you want to enjoy it, you really should have the food when you are here. Some of it you might not be, you know, super like amazed at, like, oh yeah, beaver, yeah, sure. Why not have some beaver? Why not have some wild boar or something like that? You can grab those things too. Anyway, I hope this helped you get a little bit more prepared for coming to Poland, but it is worth trying some of the things here because there are some pretty good stuff, like the pierogi and the donuts. Seriously, eat the donuts, they're awesome. Oh, and how can I forget? The probably the one thing that everyone knows is the kielbasa. Yes, I talked about the hot dog, I talked about the donut kebab and stuff like that for snacks, but you gotta have a kielbasa, the red sausage, when you are here, because that is a Polish sausage for us, is a kielbasa. So do enjoy one for me and have a great time here in Poland, and I'll say bye from Warsaw.